Ah, hello. Ready up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Moyu Assembly number one. Let's call it number one because it's been a while since we've done them. Uh, I think the last, I'm not even going to try and guess. We're starting our vlog series back as well, and we're starting that at number one again too. So uh, yeah, welcome back, everybody. I know it's been a while between drinks. I apologise for that. Um, that's what happens when you got ADD. You just get distracted. So. Uh, all right, we're filming this. Today is uh, Tuesday the 18th of October. You may see this, uh, I don't know, Wednesday the 19th, Thursday the 20th. However, we are about to fly off to Los Angeles, we being Davina and I. She is fighting in Mexico on Saturday, which is going to be Sunday Aussie time around 12 or 1 p.m. We're going to put a link in and across all of the more you social media uh, platforms and bios. She's going to be fighting for the triumphant world title against Cynthia Flores from Mexico. So, um, the usual fight prep. Doreen has uh, got about one more session to go. Um, we'll catch the plane tonight. I get to eat two meals because she doesn't get to eat on the plane. Best part about uh, traveling with fighters is you get double the meals. We're going to go to Mexico, eat lots of tacos, um, maybe drink tequila, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, so yeah, please uh, tune in and watch that. Now, if you've been around the gym lately, you will have noticed that we have a new trainer, San Sitmonchai. Uh, San is here uh, up until towards the end of November. But for those of you that have been asking, he is going to come back in 2023 and we have a lot of stuff planned for that year. Remember, if you want to train with San, personal training, he's got heaps of time available, especially during the day and those off-peak times. Uh, otherwise, you can come and train with him in some of the classes as well. Similarly, while we're talking about trainers, um, since the last assembly, Max has broken his foot and now it's better again. Uh, <laughs> so with a long post-surgery protocol, he's finally back to it. Uh, he's not able to kick yet, but he is able to hold pads and take PT clients again as well. So if you want to do PTs, if you want to train with Maxi, please be sure to let us know and get in amongst that. Now, Christmas party and the Christmas bash. We had a bash planned for about a month ago, but because of all my travel, I was unable to do it. Um, or we were unable to make it happen, unfortunately. We had to shift some things around, so we're just going to push it all the way back to the Christmas bash. That is going to be on December 17, which is a Saturday. We're going to do it around the middle of the day, and then Sean put the poster up here. Nice. Uh, he nods. <laughs> we're going to do it in the middle of the day, and then at night we're going to have the Christmas party. So uh, Christmas bash, Christmas party. For those of you who might be new to the gym or you don't know what I'm talking about when I speak about the bash... It is our members only sparring event. Now, it's not a fight show. It's not a competition in that respect. We just uh, put two people together, together, a spar in front of a group of people. There's no winners, there's no losers, but it is a chance for you to go a little bit harder, give one another a smack, um, and then the Christmas party is later that evening. So if you wanna register for that, you obviously have to have been training long enough that you've got the basic fundamentals down. Ideally, you've started sparring, if not, Let's get you sparring. Remember, we have our uh, we have a few sparring classes spread throughout the week, so make sure to check that out on the timetable. But that is definitely a must. Also, a minimum expectation of how much you would train a week in the lead up to that. Last but not least, fight results. It has been a long time since we've done one of these assemblies, so there are a lot of fights to go over. I don't think I'll go over them all. Uh, let's just talk about some big notable ones. One of which, obviously, Diandra's second fight on one championship, beating Amber Kitchen. That was a big dub. Um, very happy to get that. That was uh, Diandra's second fight on one this year. Obviously, she fought the now champion, Smiller, and uh, she's now fought Amber, so that makes her one and one in the one championship circle. Hoping to see her back in there soon. Not long after that, we went 19 from 19 on the Sian to Sydney. Ty Consiot. Stay there. <coughs> uh, on 
the Thai Consular Cup, 19 from 19, 19 fights, 19 wins. Came away with this bad boy. Thank you, Andrew Parnham. Uh, so that was awesome. I was very tired by the end of that day. <laughs> and uh, recently as well, also worth noting as far as it comes to fights, sometimes I just look over at that camera for dramatic effect. Uh... <laughs> Back on my bullshit, hey. Uh, while we're talking about fights, Gabriel Ramos had two fights in two weeks. Now, she fought up on Conquest Fight Promotions. Shout out to Brody and Elise Stolder. It was their first show in the week lead up or, or, or thereabouts in the lead up to that event. Uh, I got a call that there was a pullout for a fight the following weekend. Uh, that was on Muay Thai League, ran by Nakia and Benji Wright. Uh, I said we'd wait and see how the fight was. Um, Gabrielle won her fight on Conquest quite convincingly. Big eight count to her opponent in the third round, or gave a big eight count to her opponent in the third round. Uh, and then said, hell yeah, let's go again. So she fought again the following weekend against the experienced Danny Rushton from my good friend Darren Reese's Jim Riddlers over in Perth. Danny with double the experience of Gabrielle, um, often fighting a little bit heavier as well, although they do fight at the same weight. And Gabrielle got the win with that one as well. So beautiful display of Muay Thai. Shout out, uh, Gabrielle, for that one. Sorry, still in the way. Uh, so yeah, that was good. Two fights, two wins. Now, the fights that we have coming up 1774, we have our very own David Penampede returning to the ring, taking on Detrit from Thailand. That will be on the main card in the evening. We're also going to have some amateurs on the undercard during the day. It is a festival of Muay Thai that day. So they're going to have a day show with amateurs, and they're going to have one at night. Now, if you want to buy a ticket to the event, please pay attention. Dramatic effect. So if you want to sit on a table, 250 bucks a head, or $250 a seat, food, drink package, the whole shebang, you got it for the whole day. Or you can just buy a general seated ticket. Now, if you want to buy just a general seated ticket, I want you to go online, go to 1774, go to their Instagram or go to their Facebook, find the link to purchase the tickets or go to more you, better yet go to David's uh, social media pages at David Penipede, look for the link, purchase the ticket. When you purchase a ticket, in the code section, Davey, E-Y, D-A-V-E-Y, all caps, buy the ticket. If you want a table, to, I'm gonna stop looking at that fucking camera. If you, if you want a table ticket, please speak to Davey directly. He is organizing them. So if you want a table ticket, speak to Davey directly. We've already got a couple of tables filling up. Even if you are sitting here and you're watching this video right now and you think, I wanna go, but I don't have any friends to go with. First of all, we're your friends. Secondly, We've, we'll sort a table for you to sit on. It's funny how much smack I talk as soon as there's a camera on me. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll do, how long are we up to? Like, eight, nine eight minutes. Yeah, nine, nine minutes. minutes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, if you want a table to sit on, even if you're by yourself, <coughs> absolutely no problem at all. Um, we can sort that out. Davina, be quiet, please. I haven't finished filming. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for today. Welcome back to the Moy U Assembly. Last but not least, actually, last but not least, I want to give a big shout out and congratulations to the man behind the camera, Mr. Sean O'Reilly, and his lovely partner. Don't turn around again. And his lovely partner, Ash, whom might I mention, met at the, like the relationship was formed at the gym, and uh, now they're engaged. So, congratulations, mm -hmm. Shawnee. Um, they're engaged, so that's a more you marriage right there. That's what I'm going to call it, more you marriage. Love it. Um, more you marriage, mum. Do you reckon we could rent the place yeah. out for the ceremony? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Don't fuck. What are you talking about, man? I'll give it to you. Mate. <laughs> um, so a massive shout out to him and to Ashley, of course. Remember, the man behind the mic. Fuck mic. Jesus. That's camera. You. The man behind the camera. I'm the man behind the mic. The man behind the camera. And his uh, lovely fiance, soon to be wife, run Good Creative Studio for all your creative needs. <laughs> Please hit him up at Good Creative Studio. Um, and where I was going with that, I mean, the thing that, anyway, Sean is 
uh, back to, to film a lot more of these assemblies and a lot more uh, video content for us again. So you'll see a lot more, especially on this YouTube channel, the way you're watching this video right now. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me for today. I said this was gonna be a five minute video. It's now a 10 minute video, dramatic effect. Um, thank you all for watching. Welcome back. We will see you on the other side of Mexico if we make it back and we don't get, are you serious? I didn't even, f it was right, put it, oi, put your phone away. Thank you. Okay, so <laughs> if I don't get kidnapped by the cartel, I'll, um, yeah, see you soon. See you soon. Nice. 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 <laughs> nice. <laughs>